Dear viewers, Namaskar. Welcome to this edition of the News Bulletin. In the headlines today, New Vendor Information System app launched at Sale Rockler Steel Plant. Recertification Audit ISO 45001 2018 OHSMS held. And in our Azadika Amrit Mohatsav series, today's personality is Sri Shraddhakar Supakar. And now, the news in detail. A new vendor information systems app was launched by Mr. Atanu Bhomik, Director in Charge RSP at the Manthan Conference Hall on 24th June 2022. Present on the occasion were Mr. A.K. Kundu, E.D. Mines, Mr. S.R. Suryavanshi, E.D. Works, Mr. P.K. Satpati, E.D.P. and A., Mr. P. K. Sahu, ED Projects, Dr. B. K. Hota, EDM and HS, and other senior officials of the plant. Mr. Bhomik appreciated the combined team efforts of Finance and Accounts Department, Computer and Information Technology, and Materials Management Department in developing this app. A detailed discussion was held on making the app more useful and user-friendly and enhancing the ambit of the app right from the submission of the bills to the final payment. At the outset, Mr. A.K. Behuria, CGM in charge F&A, welcomed the gathering and also highlighted the usefulness of the app in enhancing vendor engagement. Mr. S. K. Nayak, CGM F&A, introduced the app and Mr. N. K. Rao, GM F&A, made a presentation on how it will go a long way in addressing the problems being faced by the vendors. It is noteworthy that the app was developed by Mr. N. K. Rao under the guidance of Mr. S. K. Nayak, CGM F&A, with the support of Mr. D. K. Yadav, Senior Manager, C and I T, and Mr. Devashish Sahu, S A P. It may be noted that with the introduction of the app, all the vendors having valid email ID with R S P Vendor Master will get the information regarding registration of the bill and payment. This will enhance the transparency of the payment system and will reduce the officiating timings. The system has a provision for auto-triggering of emails every day related to the vendor invoice with finance department on that day, registered invoices returned either to the department or to the vendor on that day and the payments made against the invoices with details like total amount claimed, amount admitted, details of recoveries made on account of income tax, TDS, GST, advance adjustment and security deposit, demand, etc. A recertification audit ISO 45001-2018 OHSMS was held at sale Rockler Steel Plant from 28th to 24th June. Mr. S. R. Suryavanshi, ED Works, presided over the closing meeting. Present on the occasion were Chief General Managers, HODs and other officers of the concerned departments of the plant. In his closing remark, Mr. Suryavanshi thanked the auditors for the conscientious effort in carrying out the meticulous audit process and assured them of due compliance of the points raised by them in a time-bound manner. 
The audit was conducted by Mr. Suman Gupta, lead auditor, assisted by Mr. Deepak Kherwal and Mr. Rajiv Tiwari, the co-auditors of Messrs. TUV. The audit incorporated scope of production and supply of various primary, intermediate and finished steel products including support services. It focused on leadership context, documentation, internal audit, management review meetings, objectives targets, risks and opportunities and compliance to the last audit findings, emergency preparedness and procurement procedure. The departments audited were traffic and raw materials, calcining plant 2, crane maintenance, raw material handling plant, mechanical shop, lime dolomite and brick plant, coke ovens, silicon steel mills, special plate plant, occupational health and services center, center plant 2 and 3, plate mill, fire services, steel melting shop 1 and 2, pipe plants, coal rolling mill, oxygen plant, blast furnaces, human resource development center and power distribution. It may be mentioned that the opening meeting was presided by Mr. I. Ranjan, CGM Traffic. The program was coordinated by Ms. Chaitali Das, GM in charge, BE and IED and the business excellence team. Sale Rockland Steel Plant is presenting a series of news on the eminent personalities of Odisha to mark the ongoing Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav celebrations. In this series, today's personality is Sri Shraddhakar Supakar. Born on 14th September 1914, Sri Shraddhakar Supakar was one of the most learned statesmen of Odisha. As a lecturer in law, he held the important positions in various universities of Orissa. He was a member of the Orissa Sahitya Academy, Lalita Kala Academy and Central Sahitya Academy of Eastern Zone. He was the first leader of opposition in the Orissa Legislative Assembly from 1952 to 1957. As a member of the parliament, he was associated with various important committees including Public Accounts Committee and Estimate Committee. He was a freelance journalist and was editor of the daily Hirakhanda. He worked for the upliftment of the poor downtrodden people of the society, eradication of leprosy and welfare of the orphans. Sri Shraddhakar Supakar is also known for his outstanding literary works that include Galpanjali, Vishakanya, Jwar Bhata, Artabandhu Isaac Santra, Biography, Russian Brahmana, Surendra Sai, etc. He left for the heavenly abode on 5th January 1993. That's all for today's news bulletin. Namaskar.